Now, I never really look too much into early Super Bowl odds, especially not in February. But I found this interesting, and whenever I find something interesting, you know I make a video about it. So, the early Super Bowl odds for Super Bowl 59. The 49ers, ironically enough, are the best odds, and this is after the Super Bowl, by the way, of going and winning Super Bowl 59. You know, I would highly think the Chiefs, and you know, I hate the Chiefs, don't get me wrong, but I would think the Chiefs would be the the favorite to win the next Super Bowl. They just won this current one. But apparently Vegas is just like, no, 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 no. 49ers, best odds. Nonetheless, though, um, Chiefs are number two, Ravens number three, Bills number four, number five are the Lions, and number six are the Bengals. We are the only team inside the top ten that did not make the playoffs this year. And I get that, right? Because why we're so low in the list, because we did make the playoffs. But a lot of that reason was because half the season we did not have a quarterback. We had a backup quarterback playing half the season. And even then, we really were, what, one game out of making the playoffs. If the Steelers were lost to the Seahawks, then we would have been in the playoffs. So it's kind of ironic for that reason. I'm surprised the Bills are so high up on the list. Because, like, I feel like if we had Joe Burrow, and again, Vegas is assuming we're going to have Joe Burrow the whole entire season, I feel like we had better odds in the Bills of going to the Super Bowl and winning a Super Bowl. Just my personal opinion here, I feel like we have better odds of doing it. The Lions, I didn't say why they're so high on the list, because they're probably going to go ahead and repeat and go to the playoffs. Potentially this time go to the Super Bowl. Maybe versus us. You never know. But like if I had to bet my money right now. Obviously I'm going to bet the most money on the Bengals. But my number two pick on if I had to bet all the money for AFC. It would probably be the Chiefs. I don't think Lamar Jackson and the Ravens can get it done. And I don't think that Josh Allen's going to get it done. So and I don't think anyone else in the AFC really as I said many times. Can compete with either us or the Chiefs. Um, and then the NFC wise. I guess the 40, I, I just don't think the 49ers are a good enough team. I think that the Lions are an up and comer team. I don't think the Eagles are going to be able to do it. Cowboys, <laughs> no way in heck. Packers, maybe. Packers, you know, Jordan Love, another season, get going a little bit, kind of popping off. Um, I don't really think anyone in the NFC South is going to do it. Yeah, I mean, there's no. It is crazy how. Interestingly bad, so many teams are in the NFL. When I look at them, I'm like, like, there is not many teams you can look at and say, yeah, that team can go to the Super Bowl, right? You know the Chiefs can do it. They won it the last two years. You know the 49ers can do it, but it just comes down to if Brock Purdy can continue his success, and obviously the Super Bowl didn't look the greatest. The Lions, you're like, okay, well, I think they can get to a Super Bowl. They potentially can. The Bills, I don't think they can. The Ravens probably can, but I just don't think they will. And then you have us. And then the rest of the list is not here, but I'm going to guess the rest of the list is probably Miami in there. And I don't think Miami can get there with Tua. Um, and then who else you got? That's pretty... <laughs> sad part is, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I guess a... Uh, and AFC South, they have some teams that could look good. CJ Stroud, I think, will eventually get to a point where I think he could be a Super Bowl contender. So I'm going to say Stroud should be high on this list. Texans should be high on this list. Um, and then outside of that, though, it's pretty much GG. So overall wise, it's not bad. I wish, I honestly wish our Super Bowl odds here, we weren't even on this list. I want us to be the last team. And the reason why is because that's how we play our best football. We play our best football when we are the very bottom of every single list possible. We play better when we are underdogs. Not when we're expected to win, expected to do good things, expected to do A, B, C, and D. I don't want that. I never want that because that's when we get a big head sometimes. We know in the AFC Championship game last year, we got a little cocky, talk too much smack, and then we get smacked in the face. <clears throat> referees. 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 Anyway, um, so I had a nightmare of referees in the AFC Championship game. I don't know if you guys remember that. Fifth down? Fifth down? Um, like blatant missed calls. Anyway, as I was saying though, 
yeah, I'd rather us be down on this list a little bit more than this. But you know what? It is what it is. At the end of the day, we're going to see how this end, this next season goes. And as long as this guy right here is healthy and standing behind the pocket, we'll be fine. And I'm telling you right now, what we need to do, number one thing this offseason, protect Joe Burrow. Not even a question. I don't care if we do anything else. Nothing else matters this offseason than protecting number nine. So everything we need to do needs to be geared towards protecting him. Free agency, draft, everything. Obviously, we have the receiving core. We have, you know, potentially the tight end core with Tanner Hudson and Drew Sample. Get one more in there. We'll be fine. Everything else is just protect Joe Burrow. Because no matter how much our defense struggles here and there, and it will get better next year with some of our younger guys, the offense is all we need at this point. We need to get this offense going and throwing the ball down the field, completing some passes, controlling the line. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.